Hi Internet, this is Danny Danger and this is my poll list for December 5th. Hellboy is dead and trekking through a hell that only Mike Mignola can imagine in Hellboy in Hell number one. Trapped in a rotten future, Animal Man battles Grodd and company in issue number 15. Rapunzel battles ghosts and Yakuza, and this week we'll check in with a very restless witching well in Ferris number 10. In Swamp Thing number 15, Scott Snyder shows us a rot world Batman and his Arkham Asylum adversaries. I'm gearing up for more old school spine tinglers in IDW's Haunted Horror number two. And finally this week, I have my action face on for Invincible number 98, The Death of Everyone, part one. So this is the part of the show that makes me feel like I sound like a broken record. Everything's going to change. Nothing will ever be the same. Uh, f it. If you're out and about in your comic book shop shopping for a friend who's really big into superhero comics or you just want to pick up a little guilty pleasure for yourself, invest your brain space into Invincible. It's such a good book. Uh, stick with it for the first three trades. It's a really slow to pick up story, but you get three trades in, the shit hits the fan, and you won't be able to put it down, I promise. So that's what I'm pulling this week. Guys, I need your help. I'm looking over my pull list and noticing that I'm a little out of date with my Marvel titles. What Marvel titles are you reading? What do you think I should pick up? And where is a really good jumping on point? Tell me down below in the comments. Be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can see us do this every week, and share this with your friends to find out what they're pulling. A very special thanks goes out, as always, to Austin Books and Comics. Fictional locations done in a realistic style, and so it's called Unreal Estate. And uh, last year, the show sold out, so uh, hopefully people like it again this year with brand new stuff. Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez go Grindhouse style this week in the Lock and Key Grindhouse one-shot, in which we follow a couple of criminals who get their comeuppance thanks to Keyhouse. 